Um, this is, uh, it's been a very uh, busy day, so I appreciate you choosing this session. Uh, we are coming from Romania. It's um, a user group of uh, Romania and Moldova. So we are a small um, uh, affiliate group, but we are very excited to, to talk to you about uh, some of our work. And uh, before we move on, I have two questions for you. One, uh, and I want non-Romanian to answer this, do you know what a mercy shore is? Have you heard about Mercy Shore? Can you? No. 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 <laughs> so please, you also looked it up now? OK. OK, so actually for the part of the countries from the CEE region, it's a tradition that uh, we, we shared with Bulgaria, with uh, Serbia, I think, part of Ukraine a little bit. Uh, and it's a spring um, celebration. It's a red and white string that it's uh, handmade, usually it used to be handmade by, by women to uh, celebrate the coming of spring, you know, in combination with the white of the snow in our region. Um, and uh, now it got very connected also with um, March 1st to March 8th week when everybody is forced to celebrate women. So in our region, from March 1st to March 8th, if you're a man, you have to buy flowers, you have to say nice things to women, maybe also <laughs> take them the out. Way. Like otherwise, culturally, you will be completely um, not, not welcome. So this is with Marti Shore. And now I want you to just take a moment to think of a woman. It can be you if you're a woman or somebody else who, if you could make a Marti Shore, you would actually give that to her. So just keep that woman in mind as we're going to go through the presentation because um, it's very important to us as we're going to talk to you about a campaign that is about um, creating articles about women on Wikipedia. So it's something that probably many of you know. But we're not just going to talk about the steps that we went through. We're going to talk to you about the process that is happening in a small affiliate, in a small Wikipedia. So don't think about top 10 Wikipedias. This is not about that experience. It's about a small affiliate, small group, small community of volunteers with few women in that community that decides to do a campaign like that. And I think as we talk about this, we have to also bring in not only some statistics and some numbers, but also some emotions. Because, as I mentioned the week when we have to celebrate women, I can also mention the fact that we're coming from Romania now, where for the past two weeks, it's a big scandal with one of the biggest universities in our country, where it turned out that at least a couple of male professors are sexual predators. And that seems a surprise to many. <laughs> Not to student women, not to women in Romania, but to many, including me, media. And as I was preparing this, uh, when I proposed it, it was more about, you know, affiliate process, indicators. And then for the past two weeks, I was like, oh, fuck it, no. It's about emotions. It's about the fact that I'm doing my work and I'm preparing this presentation. And at the same time, all the media in my country says, oh, those girls probably asked for it. And it's 2024. <laughs> And we're still having this conversation, and we are still trying to do campaigns about b bringing visibility to women. And it, of course, it comes with emotions. So we're going to have some emotions. Still, you have time to run <laughs> if you don't like that. And we're also looking for inspirations. So just, you know, whatever comes to your mind as we're talking about this, again, keep in mind, small affiliate, not top 10 Wikipedias smaller Wikipedias, let's tell you what we talked about. Um, and I want to mention that this is, of course, inspired by Wikigap. <laughs> of course, um, we've met with many projects that like, were connected with Wikigap. We also had in Romania in 2018, 2019, um, a couple of events, a number of events with uh, good results. But we were not involved in that. We, it was before we were involved on Wiki Marci or, or on, on Wiki for Women. Uh, we are uh, coming from a different background and we're going to tell you about. However, as I prepared the presentation um, on the report of those events, I found this lesson learned uh, where people who organized Wikigap back then said that they want to increase the synergy with other projects conducted in our user group and use their potential for attracting new female editors. 
in some way, I think us presenting here is, a, <laughs> is that happening in a way, but uh, I don't know how this synergy actually happened. Maybe you can figure it out and use it in your own affiliate. That would be nice. So very briefly, I'm a librarian, researcher, manager of the, uh, our affiliate. Since in 2006, it was my first edit on Wikipedia, and it was an article about a Women, of course. Uh, and since 2017, I'm an active uh, Wikimedian. I'm doing a lot of projects focusing on women, minority science, health, many issues, climate. So if you are uh, interested in topics like this, I would like to talk to you more. And this is a bunch of librarians, uh, editors of Wikipedia that I met um, last year. Um, so uh, there's a bunch of cool librarians. And also, and this is me. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Elena. I've been uh, editing on Wikipedia since uh, 2022, so not very long, but I love it. And uh, I'm also the newest member of uh, our group, Wikimedians of Romania and Moldova User Group, and it brings me a lot of joy, and I'm very proud of it. And I work as a librarian at a public library in my country, in uh, Romania. Uh, so I uh, strongly believe and encourage all librarians to start editing on Wikipedia because we as librarians have all the right sources available uh, for uh, writing articles. And uh, I've been involved in uh, many campaigns such as uh, One Lib One Ref, Every Book Its Reader, and of course Wiki Shore in 2023 and 2024. Thank you. So yes, talk to us about One Lib One Ref. If you have any questions about how librarians can rock Wikipedia, we can talk about that. But also, uh, this year we had a new volunteer joining our Wiki Marticia effort, and is um, uh, Valentin, who's hopefully online. Uh, um, he's waiting for his first child to be born, so he couldn't join us. But he was a really good um, support for us as we were thinking about, you know, what are we doing with Wiki Marticia as he um, participated in one of our workshops and um, helped us with the data. So, as I mentioned, I, I was librarian doing one lib one ref, and I was interested in doing articles about women. And I heard about all these cool campaigns happening around the uh, Wikipedia projects. However, I didn't know how to organize a campaign. I didn't know how to do a web page for the campaign. I knew about the fact that there are many pages of women missing on Wikipedia. This is something that, as a woman, you just know. Uh, and that uh, I knew how to use the hashtag uh, app that one Lib one Ref is using. I'm not sure if you're using it that in your campaign. And then at one point, with the Wikigap crowd, uh, I'm sure it, it was Art and Feminism or other type of workshop, they mentioned the Listeria bot which I'm not sure if you're familiar with, but which extracts data from Wikidata and shows the pages that are missing on your Wikipedia that uh, respond to that search. And was, of course, we search for women that were connected to Romania that don't have a Wikipedia page. And guess what? Tens and tens and hundreds of data came up. So I just copied that. Actually, they showed it for a different country, but I was like, okay, let me see for Romania. And I copied on my sandbox page. I tried to figure it out on my own, which was very painful, but I did. And then I was like, okay, so we have this. So we have this data. We have, we know their page is missing. How, how can we do it? And then, um, again, we didn't know how to do a web page. We didn't know about previous efforts and how they organized because we were not present there. And uh, for small affiliates, the history of the organization, it's not so uh, easily available as it seems is for the bigger organization. So um, what happened was that for March 1st in 2023, um, I got, I don't know why, pissed off. And I said, I'm going to do a page. And I'm going to do a Wiki Marticia request for people who really say that, you know, re they respect women and they want to appreciate women to actually do a Wiki page. And actually, if you look at the page, it was done on March 1st. <laughs> Jiku, another member of our user group, helped me with the Listeria thing to put it on the page and make you know, some prizes available from our budget. Um, and it was uh, something announced very poorly <laughs> on our community only, but it, it started. It started because we felt, I felt actually, we have to start somewhere. Um, and we had just 12 editors who joined in 16 new articles in a two-week period. Not a big number, but then we started with something. And we learned some things. Yes, we learned that we definitely need to find 
more ways of communicating more efficiently in order to attract people to make them interested in Wikipedia and especially in Wikimorticure. And uh, most important, that uh, new editors on Wikipedia should be trained before starting writing articles, as it is very important that they understand and they respect basic criteria such as uh, notability, the neutral point of view, and also reliable sources before starting writing an article. This lesson, I'm, I'm sure, is not you know, sp specifically uh, surprising for many of you. However, with a campaign like inviting women to edit on Wikipedia, people come with a lot of emotions. And then you tell them, oh, but you don't know how to do it. And you have people like really pointing to them what they don't know about the women that they respect, about the sources that they bring to the table. And so um, this was painful for us because we invited women to edit, and they left being unhappy. Um, so we really wanted to, to uh, add more. So what we, uh, we did was um, we learned how to do <laughs> uh, um, a page for the campaign, so to announce it a little bit earlier, to tell them that they need to, to, to learn some and use some materials to, to, to figure out how to connect with our way of doing things. Um, and we need, knew that we needed to organize workshops. So it wasn't just an online campaign. For the online campaign, for new women to come edit, it's impossible for them to do it just like that. We have to prepare more. But we still have a problem communicating about the campaign because, again, it's sexy to just attract people to say, oh, we're doing this good thing, right thing. But then how do you tell them, oh, but you have to invest you know, some time. And that time, it's very precious and not everybody is willing to invest that time. So uh, we, we didn't know how to do that. However, however, in 2024, uh, what we did differently is that uh, our campaign lasted for three weeks, and we also offered prizes that were very attractive. We offer prizes for most new articles, most improvement in number, uh, and uh, also for new editors with most contributions. And uh, another thing that was uh, very, very workable for us was that we organized three public events uh, that were, uh, were held in public libraries. We had uh, one such public event in uh, a library in Brasov in Romania, and uh, another workshop at Chisinau in Moldova. And the third one was organized at the Library Cafe in Bucharest, the capital of Romania. And these events helped us attract more participants in this campaign and also bring us to these re results that were uh, much better than in 2023. Yeah, and what I wanted to mention, you can see Valentin here, who uh, was joining us in, Brash, uh, in Brashov, and he came in to do a Wiki Mercy Shore, like editing Wikipedia pages. But of course, he just found himself lost on Wikidata, trying to figure out, okay, so exactly how many articles are there and how many articles we need to do, and like, you know, data guy. So um, he actually, he did not contribute at all to the campaign. However, he came up with numbers <laughs> which were very useful for us, uh, which I guess we had two reactions to it. it on one point, it was useful to us to see the difference uh, in numbers because it was something that we kind of intuitively knew, but we didn't see it in numbers. But on the other hand, it was really discouraging because we saw the difference in numbers. Um, and um, it, um, he, he sep uh, separated it on centuries, so we can have that. And we used it also for Romania and Moldova. We are affiliated that serves two countries. So we're now starting to look at statistics from two different perspectives. And you're going to see why this is um, a more interesting. It's because for Moldova, as you see, um, at least for the current uh, biographies, they are having a good position. Uh, and that's because in t uh, the pr uh, efforts done in 2018, 2019, when one of the editors from that campaign continue to edit you know, regularly articles about women. So for small countries, I think these gaps are a little bit more easier to, to bridge because they're smaller countries and the numbers are smaller than for the bigger countries. Um, but anyway, for us in Romania, for our community, this was... Um, a bitter, sweet, bitter, more bitter um, 
reality. Uh, the numbers increased from last year, which was no, was no surprise. It's not big numbers, but it's definitely better than they used to be. Um, and the, the one positive is, thing is that editors with a lot of experience started to pay attention to this campaign. Only now. So it wasn't before, and it, it, it's not happening now uh, on a regular basis. Um, the lessons learned? Of course. As I said before, we learned uh, that we still need to communicate more. It was better, but not enough. And uh, we are still learning how to do it. And again, the importance of reliable references to maintain the neutral point of view so that the editors with uh, experience uh, don't uh, underestimate us and take us serious. And we also plan to make uh, partnerships and organize more workshops in order to attract more participants, which functioned this year. And hopefully it's going to be better in 2025. Yeah, so for this year what we did, we talked earlier with some women editors and tell them, you know, we're doing a wiki Marty Shore. Can you please consider creating a new article? And we did. And at least one article that was worked with a lot of passion is proposed to be deleted currently because of um, uh, notability as a complaint. However, it's definitely a notability person. The quality of references is lacking. Uh, but we have to go back to that uh, lady and tell her, you know, you did an OK work, but it has to be better for this campaign, which I'm not sure how easy it is for you to do these things, but for us, it's actually very painful. <laughs> um, so um, because of Valentin, we start to look more at numbers. Maybe numbers will help us get courage or get something to get us going. Uh, and this is from March, when we finished the Wikimarchi short until now. And this is normal, I think, in all Wikipedias. You're going to have more articles about men continuously be written than more articles about women. It's no surprise. What we wanted to point out is that unless this changes, our annually campaigns of two, three, four weeks will not make a difference. And um, before we go to our other numbers, I, just, I want you to maybe consider then before you leave Wikimedia, um, Wikimania here, maybe you edit at least one article about one woman from your culture so that it would be like a Wikimarchy short from Wikimania to the women in your, in your life. Um, and we decided to also put the statistics uh, for the total number of articles uh, for the, the three countries that uh, are involved in our presentation, Moldova, Romania, and Poland, our host country, uh, who also has the same issues. Um, and as you see the numbers, Moldova, because it's the smallest, it's doing better, but it's slightly better actually than the other countries. Poland and then Romania is the last on, of the bunch um, with a lot of efforts to continue to be made um, in this direction. So um, I'm not sure if you wanted to say more on the data, but uh, it's available on the slides. So we are thinking about 2025. The budget part where we budget the awards is the easiest part to put. We have it there. We have the money to, to give awards. The technical part where we actually need more people to understand how to, to count the new pages that are created to, to do the, you know, all the technical part uh, kind of needs to be a work in progress. Uh, for small affiliates, usually it's just one or two person who know how to do things. And if those persons are not available when you have the campaign or they have other campaigns happening at the same time, then you don't have the support. So for small affiliates, the technical support is quite important to, to be developed. Um, we have a question about the hashtag uh, app, uh, which is not supported continuously and which, again, for a small affiliate who counts on it as a tool to be used in a campaign that's happening only two weeks or three weeks a year, uh, it's quite painful because it happened to us, I think, this year, yeah. where the um, hashtag uh, app was not working when we were happening and doing the campaign. And our editors had no understanding of, OK, so why don't we see the numbers? I edited five pages. Why can't I see the pages that I edited? And it's a very complicated conversation. Again, as we talk about women who are very emotionally involved in editing, the technology is not working. They, there's no way in which they can understand the technology because nobody has time to explain, not that they don't know it. Uh, so um, if 
we have tools in our community that are not supported anymore. Please tell us so we know how to plan ahead. Again, for topics that are more emotional than others. I, though I think I think for our volunteers in this community, all topics have some emotional charge that we don't talk about uh, enough. I think. Um, and how to? Uh, and one other thing that was um, Jiku had as, as a request is with Wikidata. If anybody is expert on Wikidata, when you do imports of data that are relevant to our countries, maybe just send us a message so we can figure out there's new data available about the countries or about the culture that we are serving. This will be very useful for us. Um, and how to communicate better with the campaigns? Um, we saw all the efforts that are done in English and in English-speaking countries. We get it, but you don't have like Wikimercy show. You don't have like um, a lot of history of March 8 being the women uh, as in mothers and not other women celebrations. Uh, we have all those like uh, historical trauma in our societies. So how to communicate this and make it a positive experience and a positive invitation for our members of the community would be very useful. And um, Oh, and set realistic indicators. Uh, if you apply for a grant, you have to put numbers. I'm not sure how you thought the numbers that we showed were, but I can tell you, compared with other affiliates who are bigger, those are not big numbers, uh, though that they were created with a lot of work. So uh, I don't want to put numbers just to have big numbers on a paper. I want them to be numbers that make sense for us as a, as a community. So these are the images that we used, and uh, we want to thank you so much. But before we do, I want to explain the title of this presentation, which was thank you for um, the flowers, but I would like a Wikimercy Shore. It comes from an NGO. It, it was inspired by the feminist NGO in Romania, who for the past three or four years has been using this thank you for the flowers, but I would like respect as a message during March 1st and March 8th in Romania, um, just to start signaling the fact that, you know, really giving flowers to women for a week during the year, it's not what we talk about when it's said we want equal rights for women and more respect. Um, so to um, signal this uh, fight that uh, we have in our culture, thank you for the flowers, but we would like Wikimercy Short in our Wikipedia, but also in your Wikipedias. So please keep at it, keep editing articles about women. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, we still have time for questions without running in the next session. Thank you so much for the presentation. I'm Leila from Wikimedia Foundation's research team. Uh, one thing I wanted to note to you is that something that you have that I think is very valuable and many Wikipedia communities don't have is you have almost parity at the readership level for the gender of people who read Romanian oh. Wikipedia. We don't know why this is happening. But Romanian Wikipedia, Ukrainian, and Russian Wikipedia have very close to parity. So if you are, for example, running campaigns, if you're running campaigns to recruit people on Wikipedia, you have actually this amazing opportunity because you have more women proportionally um, than some of the other Wikipedias. So I just wanted to share that with you because I know there's a lot and every little may help. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Magdalena. I'm a local librarian. I would like to appreciate uh, your work, what you are doing in your country for women and Wikipedia. And I have two questions connected with, with women, because um, usually women work in libraries, and I wanted to ask how well, about their opinion. Did they wanted to join you to your meetings, to your workshops, or they were afraid of it? And the second question is about uh, biograms of the women which were presented in Wikipedia. Uh, did you have any key to point these ladies or it was a very famous person in your history, in your country? Thank you. Yeah, that's a very good question. I am a librarian, as I, as I said before. And um, my personal experience is uh, when I discovered about Wikipedia, I was very fascinated. And I think it's very suitable for a librarian. It should be included in their professional profile because we have the sources, we have the training. Our professional profile is 
perfect to start editing on Wikipedia. Uh, what other librarians told me it was difficult uh, is um, the neutral point of view to maintain uh, the text to, to write neutrally and uh, we are encouraged as librarians to express ourselves uh, using beautiful words, uh, expressions and other things to tell the story beautifully, to make it seem to make it sound beautiful. And on Wikipedia is the other side. We need to stick to the facts and respect everything. But uh, I also find it easy to do this. And of course, we need to train everyone before starting editing because it's new, it's different, and we have to follow the rules also because it's free access and anyone can edit. So the rules are very, very important. I saw um, librarians that uh, were excited starting editing on Wikipedia and said, wow, it's so easy, I can do this, I can do that, everything is nice, I want to try, but then uh, didn't want to continue when they saw these rules and they saw that their articles were not welcomed and they had problems, And but why? I know this person, I know it's right what, I, what I'm saying, but it doesn't work like that. You need to have find sources for everything you say. So we need to keep going. But librarians are the right person for this. Thank you. And this is a good in intro for the session on Friday. What time? Uh, 2.15. 2.15, we have a session on uh, notability and libraries and work like that, so keep that in mind. And just to answer the second question and we're done, uh, the Listeria bot that I mentioned is uh, an automatic way of getting the data from Wikidata about women, and then it shows you if they have a Wikipedia page or not. And then you just have a list of, of, of women that you have some data on but don't have Wikipedia pages. And people can choose to, to create new pages. So thank you very, very much. Please don't forget about your Wikimedia.